Okay, good evening class. So today let's extend more on uh, what we discussed earlier regarding fractional factorial design. So kanina we delved into into experiments wherein meron tayong isang assigned L value. No? So our L was just when L was equal to 1 or L equals 0. So let's look at more um, uh, at a fractional factorial design wherein mas marami yung blocks na pwede natin ma-produce. So specifically for this example, let's look at how we can uh, divide our full factorial design into four equal or four blocks. So in that case, we will actually have two assigned values, L1 and L2, instead of just one uh, L value. So uh, the problem states here that we have to consider a situation in which we have five factors, each at two levels which is a characteristic of a factorial design. And however, due to time constraints, the experimenters must decrease the runs to eight treatment combination. So again, if you look at it, it's two uh, levels, two raised to five factors is equal to 32 treatment com combinations. And then um, our experimenters want to decrease it to eight treatment combinations, so that's 32 divided by eight which should give us uh, four. So four is uh, the number of groups we want to reduce our experiment into. So if we could write that down, it would look something like uh, this is uh, two to the five minus two. So again, uh, two here represents the uh, number of levels. Five is our full factorial design, and we are dividing it by four groups, so that's two to the two, so that's why it's five minus two. So uh, by dividing it into four groups, we reduce the 32 treatment combinations into eight treatment combination runs. All right, so uh, first, the, the first thing we need to do is develop, a, develop the standard order for five, <coughs> excuse me, for five factors. So the standard order, again, uh, we could start with A. Oh, no. Let's start with 1. So uh, again, I'll, I'll just leave this blank. So I'll have A, B, and our next is A, B. So I'll just leave this blank for now so I can use the concatenate uh, function. So if I, uh, again, uh, when we are adding factors, we just uh, take the existing treatment combination, then multiply it by the new factor we are adding. So, say for example, I want to add C, so that's con I use the concatenate function to make my life easier. All right. So, concatenate again is when we combine two strings of text. So that's if I want, if I have A and I want to combine it with a C, then it's A C B B C A B, and C is A B C. I'll start with the top level one, then I'll combine it with a C string. So take note that when we are using text strings, we usually, uh, or Excel requires us to enclose it in uh, quotation marks. So I have that one, so that's C. I drag it down until I get ABC. So this is the standard order for for three factors. Then since I want to add a D function, I use again my concatenate function. Start it from the first row and add the D string. Okay. And this time, uh, this is eight rows. So I want to add eight more rows. So I'll end up with a to A, B, C, D. Now, since uh, we are trying to do 2 to the 5 minus 2, then I'll add one more factor, which is E. Then I'll do it once more, concatenate. First row. Then add the E string. Then drag it down until I get a total of 32 treatment combinations. So this is 32 treatment combinations. As you can see 
here um, these are 32 rows okay so uh, most of these uh, these text things here are still in um, in their formula uh, formula function so I uh, want to be able to copy and paste them without problem so what I usually do is I copy this string of text right click then this is actually just uh, paste special values okay so when I do that I actually copy the exact values and not the formula themselves so if you can see when I look here it's ABD uh, as opposed to earlier it was uh, concatenate a b or concatenate then a certain a certain number of arguments so if I press control Z you can see clearly that a b d here is concatenate a5 d then when I redo it the paste special function just uh, what I did a while ago and you can see it's a b d and not a function an excel function okay so once I do that I can now fill in my my uh, first uh, row so I can do the apostrophe uh, then close parenthesis open parenthesis one close parenthesis so this should give me a text value so I have one a b a b and so on so this is my standard order and again uh, I'll complete my columns a b C, D, and E. Now, uh, again, uh, we just alternate between the first column is alternating every every row with zeros and ones. Then I just drag it down until A, B, C, D, E. Then, uh, it, uh, because what it does is it actually automatically fills in the series so I don't want to fill it in the series I just want to fill it uh, or I want to copy the cells 0 and 1 so I uh, press this uh, button here then press copy cells so I should get a series of zeros and ones then the next one is uh, if this is every row then this is every two rows so I have that then I do the same thing copy this for drag it down and again I'll use copy cells and the third one is every four rows oops that's every four rows again drag it down copy cells and I should get nice looking functions nice looking array like that's zero 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 one. I'll drag this one up to here. And I'll drag this one. On the cell back. Again, copy cells. This one is split right in the middle. So it's zero up to A B C D. Then starting at E it's one. So, <coughs> excuse me. So the next thing we do is we get the defining contrast or the DCs. So, in if you observe, if we try to look at this uh, in our tables, wait, I'll show it in view. If you can observe. Ah, there we go. So if you can see it here, um, 2 to the 5 minus 2 gives us a total number of runs of 8, which is exactly what we uh, were trying to do, reducing 32 treatment combinations into 8 treatment combinations. And the defining contrast, we have two defining contrasts. So we have ABD and ACE. So we'll use both of these to produce our L1 and L2. So I'll just uh, copy that ABD and ABD.